It starts with a guided commissioning. Motor C14 comes to crossboard via a plug and play connection. The supply voltage is connected via a plug too. Motor C14 starts, initializes and carries out a diagnostic check of the environment. When the motor C14 is ready for operation, this is indicated by a tick and a green illuminated key. Now the motor C14 is ready for operation and a parameterization is possible. The display will guide the user through the parameterization. Now we are in operating mode. The control signal starts the motor C14. The switch on status and motor rotation are shown on the display. When started, the motor load percentage will be displayed. During operation, all important parameters can be transmitted via various interfaces. What happens in the event of a fault? Failures, as shown here as short circuit in the supply line, are detected immediately and switching off occurs within a few microseconds. As indicated in the lower section of the display, an output error occurred. Due to the fast switching off and corresponding low I2T value, the device is only minimally stressed by the short circuit. A short circuit in phase L1 is indicated on the display, additionally shown by the red illuminated button and the red illuminated section near the outgoing connector. The fault message is forwarded via the communication interface. The integrated solution assistant analyzes the fault and indicates it on the display and the fault can be amended. After repair, the fault message must be acknowledged. The motor C14 is ready for operation again. Restarting. The motor can now be switched on again and the motor C14 automatically returns to normal operating in monitoring mode.